Hello, people, and I would like to welcome you to my first uh, playthrough of Dino Crisis. Um, so, I have... Well, first let me start with... Uh, this is actually my first uh, time... Well, second or the second time of fiddling around with this Hapog device. So, this video is not going to be great quality... Um, I'm currently, you know, just recording this off of a rig right now, essentially a shitty one at that. Um, so yeah, this is my first, uh, the coined term I suppose would be Let's Play. Um, I, ah, no! Alright, uh, I, I really love survival horror games. Um, I think they're incredible and need to come back. And I loved dinosaurs as a kid. Because they're fucking awesome. I mean, look at that thing right there. Um, claw in the background. Velociraptor. Thing's gnarly as all hell. He'll fuck you up. Don't walk in his neighborhood. Um, so let's start on new game. You have mail. Oh, we're running this shit on AOL now. From Agent fucking Tom. Look at it. It says it right there. Under the guise of a research <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I've encountered no yeah, these graphics are next, John. Type <coughs> but I have discovered there is an what can we say? At this facility. The man is Dr. Kirk. The leading authority of our nation. Kirk looks like a sexy woman. Dr. Kirk was alleged to have died in an accident during the course. I wonder if Kirk was designed after fucking. Uh, the reports were premature, and it appears that oh. he's currently working as the head of a What's his name? project at this facility. Mm. The experiment is in the late stages of development. Regarding the staged accident. Wow, death, this is almost embarrassing. I cannot, involved. for the life of me, recommending that necessary remember what the name is. Of the lead singer of Nirvana. Uh, I think everyone knows he just got shot. Or he killed himself. He, he, yeah, technically he got shot by himself. Actually, there's no technically about it. He just fucking got shot by himself. Um, that's gonna bug me. I guess I can't really blame myself. I really don't like Nirvana. I think there are better grunge bands out there. I like bands. Such as Silver Chair. I think they're better grunge. Um, I also think Alice in Chains Operation beats them out by a huge margin. Um, and for people who will try to argue that Alice in Chains isn't grunge in any way, you can you can fuck right off. Um, Man. Kurt Cobain. Yeah, I remembered it. Look at all these generic enemy dudes. Actually, they're not enemies, they're frenemies. They have just have a checklist. They all have to look the same and be the same height before they can go out on missions. And they have to have one expendable black man. One expository watch scene to make you know that this is all timed as like, look at this secret agent mission we're on, guys. And now we have a woman with us that magically teleported into the fucking picture. And that woman is our player character. Yes, Regina. Wait, wait. Good hustle, man. Now look at this dude's monstrous face. Oh, no, not him. Can't see his face. He's all ski masked up. Look. Look at him. He's so generic that he's going to be the first one to die. Hey, man. We're generic soldiers, that means we're expendable, you know that, right? Yeah, man. And then he goes running through the forest.
Uh, see, now, if I was in a position like this, I couldn't... Like, I say this. Like, if I have the big steely nuts to stand up to the fucking... Tyrannosaurus. I'm gonna box your jaw, I will! And then I put up my dukes, quote-unquote. Oh, he got it hard. Look at how effed he is. But, like, um, to finish that thought, I don't think I'd run. In fact, part of me would just want to give up right there, but I could more, I could very well see myself just simply shitting my pants and crying in shame in a bush and hoping that it walks okay. by me. Like, you know, just, point. like, get on the other side of a tree underneath some of the very thick foliage around him. <laughs> That's another fucking hilarious thing. You notice how he ran in a straight line through, like, the most cleared path in that forest? Like, four feet to his left and right was thick-ass fucking jungle. That T-Rex had to go around maybe one tree and step on a branch to fuck his day up. Well, and now the rest of his life. Leave the guards to him. This is great, by the way. Um, look at how Gale has this badass SMG. Gale's the neo-Nazi blonde guy. And Mr. Blackman over here, he gets a fucking sniper rifle. And then their lead equipment team was just like, And Regina, you're a woman. You get a fucking pistol. Have fun shooting paintballs at these, at anyone. Okay, let's do this. Well, I also say that, but upon thir further thought, like three seconds further, they don't know that I'm fighting dinosaurs. Uh, so like a pistol would work just as well, honestly, for anything. Okay, and that's, yeah, now that I think about that, that man has a fucking sniper rifle, and we are going into a facility. Hey man, have fun fucking pegging people with this 50 cal from four feet away. <laughs> I like how she makes that joke like if it was supposed to be just witty and funny. But, um, like, there's nothing funny to be gained. Like, there's no, like, haha, oh, you know Gale, he sure likes to cut open chain link fences with his thick fucking polygon blade hands. Still need to figure out what happened here. Continue to sweep the area. Still need to figure out what happened to her. Let's go bug him really quick. He's checking the ground, not the bullets. He's just looking at the fucking ground. Let's go check this hole out, too. It has been ripped apart with great force. Alright, so... My experience with this game... I've had a lot of experience with it uh, over the years. I've... Like, ever since I was, like, nine or eight, when I first got a PS1, I I have fiddled with this game. Um, the furthest I've got, I'd, I dare say I got 70% through it at one point. Um, but I don't remember shit. Like, I remember this first part fairly well, in which case, I don't know why I'm going back here. Because there's nothing to be had back here until we do some dumb shit first. Such as going into this room. Because if we try to go into the rest of the facility like that black man did earlier to, you know, point blank people with a 50 cal like cool kids do apparently, we just get yelled at by neo-Nazi blonde man. Hey, what do you think you're doing? It's a Resident Evil 2 reference for you. So, not sure if you can see that, but there is a box that is currently making physics heads Boop themselves because it doesn't give a fuck about what your gravity means. It'll break dance all it wishes. Mm. So, uh. Rick can handle the inside of the facility on his own. <laughs> yeah, that happens. Oh. The cutscenes, they are endless! Endless! Look at my fucking pixelated monstrosity of a face flip the fuck out. This is a weird filter. Like, I don't know if this is gonna come through on the video or not, but, uh, 
Oh. Um, but it looks like we're looking at everything through a very small chain link fence. I don't know what their goal was with that. What are you doing here? I caught the last part of your conversation. Why was she saying that really breathy? Check out my sexy porn star voice. Come on, let's head outside, dar da da. Okay. Yeah, we'll do that. No I'm saying. Sneak it. Yeah. Passageway to the backup generator. Oh yeah, here's something fun. This is made by Capcom, the makers of Resident Evil. Look at me walking while aiming. Yeah, they couldn't fucking figure that out in Resident Evil till the like sixth fucking game. This is awesome. Anyways, enough wasting your time. Now, if you look to our left at the scenic view, you'll see that five feet away is the skybox and nothing. Infinite. That guy got fucking. Murdered. That's disgusting. He is super dead. This guy's been eviscerated. Something tore his intestines straight out. Look at those tooth marks. It had to be some sort of animal. Okay. That was her Emmy right there. Yay. Harvest his guts to find this M pet he decided to stash up in his fucking. Sternum. What's up? I'll stand guard here. You go inside and take a look around. <laughs> Wanna trade weapons? <laughs> Fine, fuck off. Bet they just drew straws, like their company was just like, hey, we have four weapons left. So, uh Here's some straws, and I just drew the short one. They were like, yeah, pistol for you, Magnum P.I., and I was just, I cried myself to sleep that night. Anyways, this is a dumbass puzzle. Give you three seconds to figure it out. Okay, it's up. All right. Yeah, that's obnoxious. Yeah! Fucking badass. I'm gonna join the Power Rangers now. Become all the colors. They will call me Neapolitan. I think I turned on the electricity. Oh. That's the sound of someone getting fucked. With some machine gun noises over it, you know. Gale's not here. There's a lot of blood. And there's a fucking hole into the infinite blackness that this island was built upon. This is something weird, too. See how, like, well that raptor was designed? And, like, look at its tail. Its tail is, like, it has so many movement points on it that it looks fluid in its motion. And nothing else in this game replicates it. <laughs> it's all blocky and kind of... Oh, man, he's gaining on me. <laughs> Get away from me! No! Okay, we're in the door now. Pitched up the decibels by like 300% in that little scream there. Observe my leaping powers! Yeah. Damn it, he went through the other side of the chain link fence! Oh, I can't get through it. Oh. That was the voice of the raptor there. I got the control system back online. What's the situation over there? 
It's Gale. I lost him. <laughs> so what's the bad news? Did you run into some guards? Ha! You're not gonna believe this. He was attacked by some kind of dinosaur. Oh. Ooh. That's a good one. Yeah, that's really good. That's solid. I like how they took multiple takes off of that one line, probably, and they decided, you know what, that's the one we're going with. That's the money maker right there, was that line she said. So, I need to go and meet up with Sarcastic Black Man, so we can sort out this whole situation. Um, and we do this by going inside the facility, finally. You know, that point we were trying to get to this entire playthrough so far. And now we are in this fancy ass, you know, school hallway. Yay! Uh, okay, we don't go there till later. Uh, what's on the ground again? Anything? Nope, we're just gonna check out the bulletin board. So, it just said in the mission details that there was an unknown man there named Dr. Kirk. They have flyers for this motherfucker. They knew he was there. Anyways, up to this grate that they made so well. Or the ventilation shaft. The grate was probably well made. They just probably tacked it on with wacky glue. Yes, I want to... Yeah. Good thing they built it large enough for a person to walk inside us safely. I think Regina has like stupid proportions. Because this is like Capcom doesn't know height and weight. Um. I can't think of any good examples off the top of my head. I know there's plenty. Uh, like, like, Sherry in Resident Evil. I think she's, like, four feet tall. And she goes up to, like, Leon's, like... I think Leon's, like, six foot. He, she goes up to... Well, he's supposed to be six foot. She goes up to, like, his waist, okay? So... She would more realistically be like three and a half feet tall, and she's like eleven or twelve. Little people aren't something to make fun of until they do something hilarious, like exist. If you're a little person out there, cheers to you. You make everyone's lives better, including you know people who otherwise hate their lives. That's the that, lot of, that monitor's displaying nothing. It's fucked up. Look at how fucked up it is. You saw it. Oh, there are parts of you just phasing in and out of reality. We can investigate that area after we finished our sweep of the ground level. Okay, then I'll take care of the shutters that are blocking the way. You work your way in, grab the dock, and then rendezvous back here. We're gonna rendezvous Vouse back there. Yeah. Alright. So the plan right now is to grab the doctor. What I wanna know is where those things are coming from. Oh yeah. Pro tip, he knows about the dinosaurs. And she was technically still in the room, according to that loading screen. While you said it, yeah. So we're gonna go through here. All right, and then like this box here, this fucking damn near impossible to like miss box. It's very important for uh, yes, yeah, the shotgun, which is like the dinosaur solver later on. I uh, got the DDK input. Oh yeah, you click on that box again because she mentioned something about it. Like, you know, she's all like, Meh, bitch, 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 bitch. Oh yeah. Uh, 
Before I do this, let me show you why I'm doing it. Oh, man. This is a fun little side story here that I actually owe, you know, part of the, like, resolving of it to my buddy Kane. Um, I don't know if I should, I don't care. Some people will find out his name anyway. All right, so we're going to turn on the switch to the office. Which I don't know why they have an on switch to the office. Um, now let's read this shiz. Yay. Uh, I didn't check his body for anything else. Yeah, he got super fucked. Not only did he get gouged, they just decided to cut a nice little circular... Or semicircle out of his, you know, side. Yes, we're gonna save. Here, you're gonna see my recent uh, playthrough of it. Um, yay. So there's that. Let's override it. Oh, yeah. That's what you want. Alright, now we're gonna exit. Like how I say we as if you guys are fucking in the room. You don't matter. You're just watching. Regina, Regina, I took care of the shutters. You should be able to access the control panel now. Already? Just that he... was quick. Thanks. <laughs> Keep a mental note of this. That man would have. Uh, that man would have had to have had the. Uh, A grappling hook, like the the fanny pack grappling hook, to get into that office because the shutters were on and inaccessible. So, like for later, for later purposes, like if there's like a point in which I have to go up somewhere and he cannot follow, just remember that he has a grappling hook. All right, <clears throat> before tonight's experiment, the chief and Dr. Kirk will be having a meeting at the second floor lounge there again. He's fucking known. He's there. From 1 p.m., those who are scheduled scheduled to a guard should keep a preponderant eye on the area in front of Chief's room and the surrounding vicinity. Before taking positions, be sure to resupply your ammunition in the custody room. The weapon storage in the custody room can be opened with the combination 0426. Ah, bollocks. Alright, let me write that down really quick. Zero, four, two, six. Bazam! Alright. So, like, he's like, oh. Yeah, that's right, bitch. You go away. Yes, I'm gonna take the anesthetic dart M. It's important for funnies later. Yeah, look at that butt picture. Actually, there's a lot of pornography in here. That is clearly a butt. You cannot tell me differently. And so is that. And that. Oh, that's a butt. Up there on top. The lower left picture. If it comes through on your screen, something different. So, uh, let's move on. Alright. Yeah, mad skills. Yes. Check his dumb ass out. He 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 he. All right. <clears throat> to the not Resident Evil mansion room. Told you, it's not the Resident Evil mansion. I was right. You were wrong. Ha <laughs> Uh. Oh, you silly gooses. You tried to hide the enormous floating package from me. Yeah. Alright, so. Uh, mix. Sir, mix a lot. Alright, so. Got these med pack M's. We're gonna be rolling in resuscitation soon, so, uh. We're not even gonna worry. Um, 
Um, I don't know if I want to. I'm gonna use them and mix it with. No, I'm not apparently. Okay, well we're keeping that for later. Um, so those darts. They're quite hilarious when you shoot them at raptors. Oh. Did I not grab the entrance key? Hmm. Yeah, who's fucking stupid? Now! Ha ha! It's what you get for being fucking retarded. Alright. Uh, oh yeah, these tank controls are coming back. Alright, so 0426. Um, yeah, so anyways, as I was beginning, like, the reason why I know where all this shit at is at, because, it's because, like, I've been playing the beginning of the game, um, for a bit, but, like, I, I kind of peter out towards this, um, towards the midpoint through the game, and yeah, we're gonna save again, but, you know, I, I, I want to beat it, finally. Like, it's just, it's a fun game, it really is, but it's like, every time I go and I'm like, I'm gonna fucking beat this game, uh, just, just something happens, like, it's like, oh, I kinda wanna play Street Fighter now for a while. Oh, fuck, forgot his ass was still in here. Now he's like, oh, I turned on the laser beams again, <laughs> The shittiest lasers ever, mind you. All they can do is deflect dinosaurs and humans. Alright. They don't cut them up. What? Is the... I have the entrance key, don't I? Yes, I do, you motherfucker. Now open these enormous doors that are built for somebody purposefully eight feet taller than myself. Let's go through this gate to the void. Oh, it's locked. And shifting in and out of the nether. Woo! Shotgun bullets. For that shotgun I just got. Pro tip. Yes, I'll take this anesthetic aid. Are you fucking kidding? Yes, I'll read the file. Five... Seven zero three six. Maybe I'll need that later. Mark Doyle. Okay. Okay. Anyways. To the upstairs! What's through this door? Oh! Okay. <laughs> okay. That's not useful at all. Up the stairs! Get my cardio in. My sexy lady walk. Hey, where should I stash all the surplus medical items and ammo? Just stuff it under one of the 50,000 random box-like objects we have lying around the facility. Oh no. Carl. Oh. What? Yes, I'll mix that, Shasta.
That only created more problems. Yes. Uh, okay. Listen to me whine about getting more meds. Okay, so now we run straight forward to the left quickly before the dinosaur comes to ruin our day. Like that! You bitch! Run! No! Oh god! <laughs> Um, this way. Yay. Actually, I think I need to shoot that fucker, too. Antenna operating engineer. Yes, I'll read the memo. Magnetic storms. Those are good. 8159. Okay. Oh, uh, what's this tiny midget door? Oh. <laughs> Attention, Regina. Your player's fucking stupid. Um. Oh, yeah, I need to go in to this one place, but to do that, uh, I'm gonna equip a shost gun. And dart. I'm only gonna use one, though, because it's. like. Getting out of this room with two raptors is rather hard, but one raptor is doable. Now watch this, watch this, this is stupid. <laughs> yeah, that's the best animation. Alright. So, handgun parabolum. Tis mine! The lingerie. Ah! Uh, Gah! Up. Yes, I'll read the file. F fuck. Alright. Eight. One. Five. Nine. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, bitch! Run away! <laughs> There's stuff there. Ha! Ah, you suck! <laughs> now we go across the. F Don't I have the device? Yes, I'll set it. All right, Raptor. Blah. On. Um, in light of this incredibly daunting puzzle, I'll draw your attention to the code section. As you can see, that is a language of TARDS. But, if you pay mind to the key, BCFGI, and simply remove the key letters from the code, the code, for real, will be, you know, revealed to you. And there's no, well, yeah. Somebody make a riddle of that. Anyways, uh, H E A D. Holy shit. Yay. A survivor. Are you from the rescue team? Um, I. Yes, yes I am. Do you know where I can find Dr. Kirk? Kirk? That fool. What's he plotting now? What are you talking about? Here. Take this. What's this for? Ah, oh, that felt great. I don't know if any of you heard that. Oh yeah, I also don't have a podcast mic, just so you all know, so that's why this may sound like shit and why you can hear everything. I'm actually using my Turtle Beach headset, and I just kind of have it 
off of my head and the mic like twisted out in front of me. Um so that's why it's there. Just so you know. Come on in. All ye comers. Alright, I don't know. All right, so this is kind of funny. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see this. Uh, I can't mix it. Um, when you put these, uh, oh no, are you fucking for real in it here? Why did that happen? You're so mean! Oh, okay. Um. So you. Oh my god. This is gonna be terrible. Uh. I think I'm gonna die. No, I won't. Uh. Equip. Shotgun. No, those anesthetic darts aren't gonna do me for shit. So you wait. And then you shoot him when his mouth is open because he's big dumb idiot and doesn't know how shotguns work. Look at him looking around. No! Ah! <laughs> well, that's a good place, Vince. I need to uh, cut it. So, um. See you next time, guys. <laughs>